Sword is a, a different whisky again. It is, we did it for Taiwan actually, and we've never done a special edition for Taiwan ever. This is the first time, the first time we've done it. Um, so your only chance to get it is if you physically, you know, sail all or fly all the way down to that wee island in the middle of Asia. Or, if you uh, ask me nicely, and you happen to be visiting the distillery, we might have some tucked under the counter, but don't, don't tell anybody else about that, if that's all right. Um, the whiskey itself um, is a vintage 1997. It, um, its age of it is actually 13 years old. And if you know the 15 year old or you try the 21 year old, it's made in that same vein. It is um, predominantly American oak sherry casks with a little bit of Spanish oak sherry casks in the background, just to give it that, that sweetness, that more that richness to it right at the very, very right at the very, very end. Um, if again, if you look at the colour of it, the colour is um, again quite pale in colour because because it's the majority are American oak sherry casks. And if you turn it 45 degrees and spin it all the way around and you take time to look at the tears and legs, you'll notice they're very, they're you know, nice and fat. That tells you it's about 40, 40, it's actually 43 percent alcohol. We just want that little, that little kick of alcohol just to give you a little punch in the, the palate later on. Um, and again, you can tell by the tears and legs coming down the glass that there's lots and lots of flavour in there. And if you nose the whisky, you see where that flavour comes from, which is it doesn't jump up your nose, the sweetness isn't there because it's mainly American oak. But you get that dryness, you get that uh, you know, gentle smoky uh, f smell from the peat just beginning to come through. But it's overwhelmingly, it's fresh fruit, it's melons, it's guava, it's all those type of exotic fruits that you'd expect from an American oak cask. But you can tell that the sweetness is there, it just comes through the end, a very candied kind of sugary orange note I suppose, like a, like a candied orange peel would be, or a hint at it, the suggestion of it, not really a full flavour, full sweetness is that. But again, tasting it. Yeah, just like the 15 year old you would expect, that dryness instantly. You have that sweetness that begins to, f uh, to come in towards the end and then you get that classic dry smoky aftertaste, which is classic, classic Highland Park. This is definitely a difficult whisky to get hold of actually, and I'm, and I'm uh, not sure there's any more left in the world to be honest, but if you do, you should drink it, it's definitely worth it. Hmm.